Fed up teachers are urging school leaders to give them and their students more time to eat. 8 News reporter Nicole Dantzler is live in Richmond to tell us how school leaders are addressing the concerns. Nicole. Well, Eric, Deanna, we learned that all Richmond high schools were scheduled for less than 20 minutes of lunchtime. Now school leaders and teachers outraged at the sudden change. An 18 minute lunch is absurd. It is absolutely outrageous. As students stride back into Richmond schools, lunchtime is now getting a lot of attention. School board member Jonathan Young bewildered to learn high schoolers now only have 18 minutes, some even less than that compared to the usual 25 minutes. And it's going to take you at least half of 18 minutes just to get to the darn cafeteria. Clarifying how the time is used, school board member Kenya Gibson sided with Young. The 18 minutes, um, as I understand correctly, it doesn't include walking to the cafeteria, but it does include waiting in line once they get to the cafeteria. And so um, it's simply not enough time. It was several educators like Beth Almore who sounded the alarm on this, urging school leaders to do something. Encourage them to recommend that all RPS students and adult employees have, at minimum, 30 consecutive minutes of scheduled lunch. School leaders say principals at every high school were told by the school district's central office to shorten lunch periods. When teachers found out about the change in their schedule last week, they demanded answers. Here's school board member Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad. When someone read it, then it should have been addressed before today. We just have to do better how we move to support our students in the building. Young motioned to reverse the change immediately, proposing to direct Superintendent Jason Cameras to provide times and lengths for lunch at each school in the district and to draft policy to make sure there's a minimum of 20 minutes seated time. Superintendent Cameras addressed the complaints and is now promising change. I'm clear on the objective and so I'm happy to bring back what I think will meet Mr. Young's motion. School board members are planning to receive updated lunch schedules from the superintendent at their first meeting in September. Live in Richmond tonight, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.